What's up everyone? This is Ben Zinn for NextLevelGuitar.com. Thanks for joining me today. We have an inspired by a lesson on uh, some great old school country sounds coming from a new cat, Sturgill Simpson. A lot of fun to play in this style. So we have a few examples that you can take and make your own today. Before we continue on, click on the link that you see below in the YouTube description box. Click on that link down there and we will send you a free video lesson and a coinciding ebook that's not available on YouTube. Chock full of great stuff, so click on that link, get the free information, and we'll continue on. So my first couple of examples work really well in the key of E. Be sure to change these up, try them in different keys. That's really how you get the most out of learning licks, is to try them in different ways and in different keys. We're in the key of E, and what I'm gonna do here is this lick. <laughs> So kind of at the tail end of a country progression is what we're thinking there for context. I'm starting here at the fourth fret of the fifth string, and I'm going to slide that up a whole step, then jump up a string, fourth and sixth, and end up at the fourth fret of the third string. Okay, now in the same sort of rhythmic phrasing, I'm going to play this. So it's same rhythm, but sort of different notes there. So my second part is going to be starting here at the 6th fret, 3rd string, slide up a whole step, grab the 7th fret of the 1st string, now take that shape and move it down in half steps. And I can play both of these notes together now. So let's rewind and see what we have up to this point. Now, a little answer to that lick. That's starting here at the 7th fret, 1st string. I'm going to keep holding that down so I can get that note ringing out. I'll play that note, then bend the 7th fret, 2nd string, up a whole step. And I'll release it and pull off to the 5th fret. Then come back here to the 6th fret, 3rd string and then close off with E, which is my root note of my key, right? So here's the tail end of that lick once more. And the whole thing. What we're going to do here is start out by sliding from the 2nd fret to the 4th fret on the B string. And then I got that really nice country dissonance happening there with the half steps, right? So I'm, I'm holding down this note and I want to hear that open string ring out there. So we get that kind of temporary ugliness, but now we're going to resolve it by pulling off from the 4th fret to the 2nd fret to the open string on string 2 in quick succession like that, right? So here's what we have so far. Okay, now let's just play the A note here, second fret, third string, one time. Now I'm gonna do this behind the nut bend here, where I'm gonna take the B string, or second string, and I'm gonna press down on it to raise it up a whole step. It's a way to bend the open string. Since we normally don't do that, we can go behind the nut here to get that bend to happen. So I'm going to press that down, bend it up a whole step, and then play the first string open. And now, we'll just close that out with an E chord. So here's my whole second lick now. One more that works in the key of E. Nice little triplet lick here, starting at the low E string. Here's the lick. So we're thinking in groups of three there, right? Like one, two, three, triple let, triple let, triple let. Open, sixth string, second, fourth. Now we'll go second, fourth, second. Now we'll go fourth, 
slide, fourth. Now we'll go sixth, slide, fifth. That's a good set of triplets to try to work up. Groups of three. And then the end of the lick is gonna find us sliding really quickly like a grace note slide. Se uh, excuse me, eighth fret into the ninth fret. Grace note means just like a quick one that doesn't count for time. Then we go seventh, ninth fret. Now let's bend the seventh fret up a whole step and release. Come to the ninth fret here. Now ninth fret here, slide to 11. And back in. Second half of my lick, one more time. Here we go. Whole lick now, one time all together. Once again, take these licks and see if you can change them up, transfer them to different keys. That's the best way to get the most mileage out of anything that you learn is to transpose it to all keys, come up with variations. That's what a lot of our favorite players are doing. So, you know, let's do that too. Why not? Uh, and head over to our website, everyone, nextlevelguitar.com. It's a great resource. We have so many video lessons there, over 1,550 in all styles and for players of all different skill levels. Go on over there, nextlevelguitar.com. Uh, you're going to find something to help you out with your guitar playing there. So head over there, and I will see you next time.